Hey everyone, in this video we will see how to write the VHDL code for 4 bit gray to binary code conversion. So that is in data flow modeling. Okay, so uh, in data flow modeling, we know if you want to write the data flow modeling code, then we should uh, have a circuit diagram in front of us. So that is basically the gate level representation of the 4 bit gray to binary conversion. So this is the circuit where uh, d in of 3, d in of 2, d in of 1 and d in of 0 are the inputs and they are passed through some XOR gates and some output is taken as input again and we will be getting the uh, binary code here. So this is the gray code and this will be the binary code. So d out of 3, d out of 2 and d out of 1 and d out of 0 will be the outputs here. So uh, on the RHS we will be getting binary codes and in the LHS we will be having the gray codes. Okay, so as you can see d in of 3 is directly passed through the output and d in of 2 for this one the output d out uh, d in of 3 will be the one output and d in of 2 will be the other and it will be giving d out of 2 so d out of 2 is taken as again as an input and for this one a d in of 1 will be added uh, that is xor and it is given as the output for d out of 1 and again d out of 1 will be used with d in of 0 to give the d out of 0 as output here so as you can see many outputs are used as input here so uh, let us try to see how i can write the data flow code for this one so i will define entity entity gray z to bi written means gray to binary so you can write uh, any name it it is your choice so there is no restriction on writing this entity name so uh, entity g to b is so i will define the input and output ports now so port a uh, bracket d in in standard logic vector 3 down to 0 means d in of 3 d in of 2 d in of 1 and d in of 0 it will be taking so due to this vector representation and d out it will be taking as out because these are the outputs and they are also in the standard logic so standard logic vector 3 down to 0 so similarly d out of 3 d out of 2 d out of 1 and d out of 0 will be getting then close this bracket close the port bracket and then put a semicolon so at the end we will be writing end g to b so we are ending this entity here then we have defined the entity now we will call that entity for its execution so architecture behavioral of g to b is so this is all standard here up to this one only this is not standard so uh, the name which I have used to construct the entity should be used here so it will not throw an error so if you change this name then it will throw an error saying that the entity is not defined or unrecognized variable so for this behavioral we will be having a begin yeah so now it's time to implement this code here so that is the circuit diagram so d out of 3 so that is first one will be assigned with d in of 3 because it is a straight line no gate is involved here so d out of 3 will be assigned directly with a d in of 3 value then put a semicolon okay so d out of 2 it is having one input is d in of 3 as and its second input is d in of 2 so they are xor together so d in of 3 is the first input and it is xor with d in of 2 so th that will give me the d out of 2 as the output and for d out of 1 uh, the inputs are d out of 2 and d in of 1 so d out of 2 is already no so this is so just copy this one here d in of 3 xor d in of 2 and it is xor with the d in of 1 so it is exiled with d in of 1 here so this first output is acting as the input so that's why i have taken this is here and that is exiled with the d in of 1 in order to give the output d out of 1 then uh, we have got d out of 0 so d out of 0 is this one and it is assigned with d in of 3 exor d in of 2 so that is the output which you have produced just produced uh, d in of 3 uh, xor d in of 2 xor d in of 1 xor d in of 0 so xor d in of 0 so for all these are xor together to give the d out of 0 output so end behavioral now so this behavioral which i have opened it will be ending here and like this with the help of simple uh, assignment statements we can write the code for uh, 4 bit gray to binary code conversion so similarly you can write for anything that is 2 bit uh, binary to gray or gray to binary so if you know the circuit diagram then it will become 
very easy for us to write the uh, data flow modeling because only we have to see this uh, gate level representation and according to that we should be uh, writing the code so i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates thank you thanks for watching